we're, we're standing at the site of the uh, number one silo building at the v and Waterfront Cape Town. Uh, this is an 18,000 square meter commercial office uh, development. It has a 4,000 square meter residential component attached to it. And we are hoping to get a five star green building council rating. Well, here we are, we're standing at the site of the former ramp. Behind us is a lot of the heritage items that we had to remove carefully. There was a tipler, uh, there were cap stands, there were uh, a lot of the, the actual rail tracks themselves, which we'll be bringing back into the project. We, we actually found a wreck, a shipwreck. It's about uh, between 200 and 300 years old. It's a brigantine. We had to cordon off the area, close the site in that area, and actually get the archaeologists to come down and actually remove the ship in pieces. It was in remarkable condition what was left. Uh, it's now been placed into a, uh, a hangar and has been uh, restored and then it'll find its way back into the project. We see the new construction here of the columns. Underneath the, we have uh, pad footings, but on other columns as the rock level drops off. We actually have a, a deeper soft soil area and we had to drive piles. There were hundreds of those piles in four different types of piles, not to mention the retaining wall piles which are pre-cast. They were 12 meters long and they were uh, sealed against water ingress from the sea. Over here we see uh, the dust house. This is, this is one, of the, uh, one of the heritage buildings. As you can see there, it had to be secured and actually braced back to the existing grain elevator building. And that was the surface level of the ground when we first started on site at that top level there. So it's actually standing on stilts about eight to 10 meters up in the air. Here we have one of the dewatering pump stations which extends to at least five meters below sea levels. Uh, currently we're at two meters below sea level. This prevents flooding. We would be uh, underwater to at least the feet here if it wasn't for that, that pump. Behind us here is the uh, 12 meter long uh, lateral support piles. They're about 800 uh, wide by about 400 deep. Um, they uh, 50 MPA. Uh, very well cured, they were driven in the ground, uh, they were inter interlocked and then they were grout socked and sealed between um, so to basically retain the water, the seawater out. 400 millimeters on the other side of that you have virtually the sea. In terms of green, we are actually recycling 70% of all the materials on site. The, either the shuttering, the concrete, etc etc the aggregates all being recycled so either being used in other projects or in other areas or coming back into the project the the concrete mix that we've used actually contains at least 30 percent slag which means that we use less cement which means that we actually use less energy to produce that cement just to the left of us you can actually see the deck coming in there at, at B, b1 level and that's basically tying in around the actual uh, piles of the dust house. And you can actually see the, the post-tensioning of the slabs, the cables there. And as we actually tension, we pre-tension about two or three days afterwards, and then a final tension uh, a week or so later. And the slab that we're standing on is about 350 mil thick. It's, it's designed to take a fully uh, laden uh, fire truck anywhere within this podium area and this plaza area. Basically, we try and do, the contractor's trying to achieve at least two major pours a day uh, in the various areas. So as you can see, there's a lot of areas under preparation and there's a lot of areas being poured today. So below us is uh, basically uh, three levels and uh, we've got another six to go. Uh, we reckon if we are able to stick to our program, we should have this precinct built out within the next five to seven years.